What's going on everybody, it's your boy Jonah Jordan, back with a special video. We are here at the Seattle Aquarium today to film an A to Zoo episode with the letter J. We're talking about jellyfish. Before we go into that, I have something very important to show you all, to show that I'm very prepared. Now I'm ready, let's go. All right, you guys, we are here with my friend Kayla, who was a senior aquarist here at the Seattle Aquarium. Kayla, how are you doing today? I'm doing so well. Thanks for chatting with me. Of course. <laughs> so we're here to learn all about jellyfish, specifically the Spotted Lagoon Jelly. Am I yeah. saying that right? You are, yeah. Mastigius Papua, that is our Spotted Lagoon Jellyfish. Beautiful name. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exotic. I mean, it is from the Indian and Indo-Pacific area, so it is pretty exotic, I guess, in comparison to you know, the Pacific Northwest. Right, uh, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the spotted jelly. So they have like multiple names, don't they? Like they do. So common names for any animal is pretty frequent. There's a lot of different types. Um, so lagoon jelly or spotted lagoon jelly, um, Papua jellies are sometimes similar because they're um, a big tourist attraction in Palau area. Um, so in the Palau Lake near uh, Micronesia, you actually get these jellyfish in these secluded, almost completely shut off from the ocean lakes where tourists can actually swim with these jellies. So, so these lakes, it, it, that's, that's still fresh water. Nope, it is actually a saltwater lake. Oh, yeah, so it is, it, it's impacted by the ocean, but um, so has rapid. kind of shut off from, um, from the ocean over time. Interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever been to a saltwater lake. I've been in like brackish waters where mm -hmm. it's like a mix of fresh water and salt. Yeah. So that's really interesting. These guys, they, they're not the most powerful swimmers. They go with the flow or? Definitely not. Most jellyfish are not the most powerful swimmers. In fact, jellyfish fall under the category of plankton. And plankton, if we're gonna kind of categorize it, is something in the ocean that cannot swim against a current of one nautical mile. And so that means they just kind of drift wherever the ocean takes them. So they're the world's, world's largest plankton. Exactly. They are pretty much one of the world's largest plankton. That yes. is very interesting. Yeah. I definitely did not know that about jellyfish. Yeah. Really, I mean, so since they're a plankton, mm -hmm. do, do they have minds? Can, can they think? Are they a processing so power? So they do not have brains like you and I. They do have some nervous system, um, but it's very, very remedial, which means it's really simple. Um, it's pretty much just um, touch and uh, att attraction to smell or light. So that kind of thing is the, the sensory system that they have. They don't really have that same feeling of pain or the cognitive processes that we have. Interesting. Yeah. So, okay, what kind of life form are they? It's, it's a really open-ended question. That's true. So they fall into a lot of different categories. I'd say the broadest one that they fall into is that they're invertebrates which means that they don't have a backbone. So like you and I, the way that we stand up straight and tall is with our backbone and with our skeletons. And jellies, they don't have that backbone um, to support them. Instead, they're made out of about 98% water. And so that water inside them gives them their support. They have something called a hydrostatic skeleton. Um, so that would be their biggest broad category. If we're gonna go down a little bit lower, they're in the phylum Cnidaria, which means that they belong to a group that has stinging cells. So Cnidaria means stinging cell. That starts with a C, right? Correct. Yeah, it's a little tricky uh, right. when you like write it out. Exactly. And then the last thing is that they do kind of cohabitate with some organisms, which you brought up. Specifically, the spotted lagoon jelly has this algae that lives inside of it called zooxanthellae. And so the zooxanthellae live inside the tissue. If we're going to talk about it scientifically, the mesoglea of that jellyfish. <laughs> Okay, that was, a, that was a lot of words. It is a lot of words. So the mesoglea is kind of like the squishy inside part of the jelly. So if you're talking about the outside, that's more like ectoderm or exoderm, depending on um, how you're referring to it. And the mesoglea is that middle squishy part. Or some people would assume is like the egg yolk of... Uh... Similar, yeah, the egg yolk of the jelly. It's funny because there actually are egg yolk jelly. That was what right? I was going to say as well. Okay, yeah, yeah locally, yeah. locally here in the Pacific Northwest, we don't have any spotted lagoon jellies. As I said, they live in warmer waters. 
But here we have a ton of different species of local jellies. So the egg yolk jelly, the lion's mane jelly, and the moon jelly are some of our three most common jellies that you'll find out here in the Puget Sound. And you have the moon jellies here at the Seattle Aquarium. Right? We do, yeah. So the cool thing about moon jellies is that they're very pervasive around a lot of the parts of um, the world. So you find both cold water species like we have here, and there's also warm water species as well. And they all look really similar. You're gonna see really big clear rings or uh, their, their bell. And then inside they have these little circular, kind of almost like a four leaf clover shape that is their internal organs, mainly their stomachs. Interesting. Yeah. So speaking of stomachs, mm -hmm. there was an interesting thing I thought I learned about jellyfish regarding their, their, their arms, their, their tentacles. Mm -hmm. So the, these jellyfish have mouths on their arms? They do. So if we're going back to the spotted lagoon jellies, they're special in comparison to a lot of other jellyfish um, that they do have tentacles, but their tentacles um, are actually mouths, as you said. We call them their oral arms rather than their tentacles. And it's kind of frilly right underneath the bell shape that you think of when you think of a jellyfish. And that frilly bit has a bunch of mouths in it. And then they have these terminal clubs at the end that also have mouths on them. So they are actually constantly intaking food as they swim through the water or drift through the water. And that there's actually channels inside those arms that lead up to the stomach and the bell. <laughs> One last question for you. Sure. How do you personally feel about jellyfish? What do they mean to you? So I am a big lover of invertebrates. We talked about these animals without backbones. I find them to be super fascinating. They have a really diverse, um, body shape, life existence. They have lots of different areas and niches that they fill in the ocean and here on Earth um, on the terrestrial side of things. And jellies are, are definitely one of them. You kind of talked about it earlier, like how do these things exist? How are they living? And it's just really fascinating to be able to watch their whole life cycle. We actually propagate our own jellies here at the Seattle Aquarium. So I get to usher them through their entire life cycle and I get to be a part of that. And it's just a really cool thing to watch and to, to have a hand in. Well, Kayla, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone at home is, is really enjoying this. At least I hope they are. <laughs> if you uh, have a question for Kayla, leave it down below in the comment section and I will ask her later on, most likely. And uh, again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a fun time looking at our jellies. All right, everybody. Thank you all for coming and watching this video about jellyfish. I hope you learned something new. For the next letter, we have letter K. Let me know down below in the comment section what animal you want to see for the letter K. Till next time, it's your boy Jungle Jordan. I'm out.